lovely and beautiful and handsome Virgos. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another installment of your love lives here on House of Virgo. I am Kelly. If you are new, please smash that like, share, and subscribe button. And if you would like to get a personal reading with me, there's a link in the description box below this video. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, all the socials links are below as well. So Virgo, we're going to take a look. We're heading into February, the month of love. So we're going to take a look and see what love messages come out for you now going forward. Okay, so yes, you don't have to be a Virgo to watch this channel. You could be a Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus. And do be mindful, some of the messages may or may not resonate. So take what fits. Hi, everybody in the chat. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, Virgo, let's get into your reading and see what the messages are here for my Virgos. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. I'm also running a special in February. It's up now where you can get a 30 minute reading at a very heavily discounted price. So go over to my channel or over to my booking site. Link is below to check out this special for February. Find out about your potential lover or your current lover and what the energies are. Okay, Virgo. So, wow. Okay, playfulness, beautiful. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine in February. Lovely Virgo. And you also have express your love. Don't go for a second best, baby. So you've got go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay. And okay, religious factors. So I feel like there's some kind of block between you and another person. Some obstacles could be religious obstacles, financial, um, anything, any kind of differences between you and another person. And I feel like the message here is don't either, it's either for you or another person. Um, if it's for you, it's like, don't let the obstacles or the differences keep you from enjoying each other and I feel like also there might be somebody here who's experiencing that energy as well I feel like um, somebody wants to express how they feel about you regardless of the differences okay you both might be from different sides of the track um, you could live in different areas you could have social economic cultural differences you could have racial differences differences religious differences whatever it might be okay all right so you, you are starting here with the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces so there could be a connection with someone of one of those signs it's a water sign um i feel like this person shows up here as someone who's very grounded financially well off okay um they they might work in the financial industry uh, I see somebody here with a lot of money um, this person they have a bit of wealth or um, financial stability but I also see this person is perhaps non-committal okay so when I say water sign it doesn't have to be like an actual water sign they could have water in their chart somewhere but it feels like this person hmm it's kind of sitting here in this position of maybe they were ghosted they're they're hmm, trying to make sense of something at this time about either you or a relationship or um because it's cup energy so it's about their feelings and i feel like this person see i kind of feel like that to you virgo with that ghost <laughs> sheet over you um I feel like this everything else is clear to this person except how you feel about them okay um if you're interested in them or if you are not willing to commit um i feel like this person has either had a dream or will be having dreams about you okay um you're showing up in somebody's dreams here virgo whether that's like their daydreams or their night dreams Virgo it just kind of gives me a sense of like this person is like they do come across as someone who has very deep feelings toward you I feel like they have um like I feel like this person 
really does have love for you here but there's something about them where uh, it's just a question of like why did you ghost them or they can't get a clear view of you i'm not sure what that means like they can't really see you it's like you're there but you have no face they can't see your face okay very interesting oh my goodness so now you've got this person has the five of cups all right um there is definitely some kind of a loss um there's regret sitting with this person they feel um, abandoned or they're feeling unloved they're having a, a hard time being positive or feeling positive about the emotional connection okay um, now again as always this can be masculine or feminine energy but Virgo it just feels like there are some kind of differences between you and this person look even with the six of pentacles it kind of makes me feel like one of you is in a lower position than the other this person might feel like they view you as being completely out of their league or you view them that way there's definitely an energy of um maybe they were breadcrumbing you and i can't even believe the six of cups just right here on the bottom there might have been some breadcrumbing and i don't know something makes me feel like This person is just really trapped, okay? They're really trapped in their head. I mean, they're on the verge of a breakdown here, okay? There's definitely some differences between the two of you, and I feel like this person wants to kind of get back to expressions of playful love with you and kind of a fantasy mode or something. It's really, it's really interesting. I feel like this person thinks back on um the past connection with you or past memories but at the same time it's causing them a lot of mental distress as well okay um it's kind of like i feel every time they think about the past or they think about the good times it breaks them up i feel like it really breaks them up okay because there is an energy here of like I don't know if this person is just beginning to see now that maybe what they what they thought was there between the two of you was actually more. Yeah, okay. So, hey, there's the Queen of Swords. Okay, <laughs> Virgo, that's I feel like that's your energy. You're coming across as the Queen of Swords. Again, masculine or feminine energy. I feel like you're this you must have um gave this person some truth about something okay so going forward let me see so this is all now and I feel like right now you kind of have your dukes up okay you're just all about the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth okay and you're sitting here in this queen of swords energy you might be divorced or on the verge of divorce or widowed it's definitely an energy of being single and you know the queen of swords and the king of cups don't usually vibe all that well um swords and cups you know um cups are very sensitive and emotions and swords are very um cutting and to the point and truthful so there's you know there is a little bit of a difference here like we saw okay so let me see going forward okay now the queen of cups wow okay there might be something going on between you and another person here it could be of the same sex um two masculines or two feminines um there's definitely some truth being told to a queen of cups cancer scorpio uh, pisces could also be um to this person I feel like there's going to be some conversation between you and a water sign going forward. Let me see what else is going on here. What else is going on? What is this conversation? Because I feel like the Queen of Swords is very communicative and talkative. And the Queen of Cups is not. Queen of Cups sits all in her emotions and her feelings. 
What is this energy? Oh, okay. So something to do either about a family situation or marriage or commitment. I feel like some of you, I don't know if it's present or if it's recent or going forward, there is an energy of like telling the truth to um, another person. Um, there, there may be this energy of like an 1111 soulmate kind of thing as well. Look, here's the Ace of Cups. I feel like somebody really wanted to have a new love start or have a potential start and bring things out into the open and have a long-term commitment, okay? Um, I feel like that's you and you might have said something to another person in regards to that. We do have Leo showing up here as well. Libra, Aquarius. So... Yeah, there is some truth coming out though as well. And I feel like there's going to be a conversation. And I do feel like because all this sits on the side of the water sign, I feel like the water sign is going to come forward or come out. And there's going to be a, a brand new beginning, even proposal or marriage or something along those lines, a long-term commitment of some sort, something that they feel will make you very happy. But Virgo, I feel like going forward, you're sitting in that sword energy. Um, let me see why. And for some of you, this could be occurring um, in the beginning of like, or the end of March in throughout the summer when, um, when the sun is... At the, wherever you are in the world when the sun is most high the high peak of uh like noon or when it's warmest okay virgo so you're sitting here with yeah this queen of swords is you male or female so you're sitting here in this nine of pentacles energy um i've i see you going forward being very um independent single doing your thing um, you might say to this other person, you know, to ask or have a conversation about if they are single or not, um, or you may tell them that you are. Okay, let me see. What else is going on here for you, Virgo? Okay, wow. So, okay, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, the King of Wands. All right, and the Eight of Wands in the reverse. I feel like some of you might already start seeing somebody when this person makes a return or tries to have a new start with you. And I feel like a lot of you going forward might be connecting with a fire sign going forward or you might be meeting somebody new um, where you feel like all of your wishes have come true and you finally hit a jackpot situation and you're not communicating with this other person or you're not trying to um you know you're single and you are looking for um somebody who just seriously wants to be with you okay so does that mean i mean by the time this person comes in to connect with you, I do feel like you're going to have somebody else in, in your life. Okay, so what will this other person do once that is told to them that you have made shifts and changes and that you've connected with someone that you feel is better suited for you or better in alignment with you? What will this other person do? Because I feel like there's going to be uh, somebody here returning to actually have a potential start again with the intention of stabilizing a relationship possible marriage okay but it looks like okay so wow virgo this other person oh boy i feel like this other person is going to come in very strong very rare very strong they might even mm, hmm. uh, i don't know it, the, i mean the energy with the five i'm sorry the seven of swords and the eight of cups kind of makes me feel like this person um oh okay hold on yeah wow 
I feel like this person, okay, Virgo, they are really going to come in have, and really lay it on thick for you. It For them, it doesn't seem to matter that you have somebody else because you're the one for them. And did they finally realize this or is it out of their sadness? I feel like this person has done a lot of reflection about why they would be on and off or temporarily walk away from you and come back again, um, why they would run away, sneak away, why they were being deceptive. I feel like this person um, has really taken their time to understand their own behavior. This person is so wildly attracted to, could be a Virgo um, as well. This person is so physically, like they just passionate about you and that knight of cups my goodness i mean they are definitely going to come in and i feel like just kind of say to you um well whoever you're seeing right now they are not the one for you you know we were always meant to be together and it was my fault and you know i i regret it i'm i regret um you know uh, i regret being silent i regret keeping secrets I regret keeping you out of the loop I regret <laughs> being just so not letting you in is what I hear yeah well Virgo you know I mean I feel like this person you guys didn't really come into alignment because of a lot of obstacles that were in the way and Virgo you probably just accepted that at some point or at least you will be um but i kind of feel like you have always wanted this person to express their love to you and they're going to come in and do it and try to regain the relationship back again but it looks to me like i mean i don't see you being in a heavy relationship with another person here um maybe they come back when you just start dating someone or you just start talking to someone but Virgo, I feel like you might have a decision that you're going to be like needing to make. Do you, are you going to, yeah, look, there you go. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want <clears throat> so that it comes to you now. So Virgo, I mean, just remember that having a long history with someone who didn't appreciate you when you were together is not a reason to get back together it doesn't matter how much time was spent together it matters the quality of the relationship so I mean if this person has changed or they've done some self-reflection which it looks like they have um, it might have been a case of immaturity on their part and I feel like that's something you might say to this person you know um, perhaps we were just too young or there was too much immaturity uh, something along those lines. Yeah, it looks like you're going to have to make a decision here, Virgo. You're going to be confronted with this during February for sure. If you want to reconnect. Pisces, I'm picking up. Cancer again. Yeah, wow, Virgo. Also, um, Taurus. Did I say that? I got Taurus. Um, there's a... No, oh, I think I said them all. All right, then one more card for Virgo. Wow, Virgo, <laughs> you've got you've got the fool, Virgo. So this is basically like, do you take a risk or do you free yourself from that situation completely and keep moving forward with, you know, whomever else you're connecting with? Ugh, Virgo, that's a tough one. Is your heart still involved? Some of you might not be. Some of you might have just accepted things and moved on. Some of you, it might be too soon and then you're still trying to let go of a past relationship so hmm and some of you already just know for a fact that it's a no but i definitely feel like you're gonna be do you give somebody another chance and take a risk and start all over again with the fool and have a new beginning help get that fresh hope back a new path together or um do you free yourself from that and continue on the path with somebody else because i do feel like you're going to connect and i said that in yesterday's reading that i felt like there was going to be a connection you'll be making with someone in february okay hidden truth oracle this person's feelings you don't know how hard it was to let you go okay well it looks to me like either they let you go or you let them go Whatever the case may be, something definitely ended. Okay, 
but this person could not let you get close to them. It feels like this person had, um, they might have been really good at expressing um, romantic, romantic type feelings, but it, when it came time to be intimately close on an emotional level, I feel like this person could not let couldn't do it they couldn't do it and that might have been what the problem was so there might have been a lot of maybe if you want to call it love bombing or there was a lot of like um complimenting and beautiful affirmations and things like that and you know words of affections maybe some sweet nothings which are sweet but it feels like when it came time to go deeper get closer yeah this person could not do it and they had to let you go whether it was your choice to push them away or walk away or whether it was their choice either way it's saying here they had a hard time with that because why i feel like this person is definitely coming to terms with the fact that there was something there um and maybe they didn't realize it until the absence occurred but it looks virgo like <laughs> i don't know this person okay they're trying to be a better person Okay, whatever that might mean. Um, better for you or just a better person all around. Coming in to try to meet your needs. Okay, let me see. My leg is falling asleep. That's so weird. I know I messed everything up. Yeah, so it kind of feels like this person's inability to get close on an emotional or an intimate level is what might have caused some type of a break or a split let me see what the island time messages are wow okay these just flew out okay someone's put an axe to the twin flame connection definitely compliment two people who are complimenting each other like i said a lot of beautiful affirmations maybe compliments sweet nothings that twin flame energy where it just you know maybe feels like or felt like two people were meant for each other but then there was a breakup separation stopping a pattern it might have been some silent treatment or abandonment involved in this connection okay virgo so hmm does that mean your twin flame is coming up to be in alignment with you virgo have you just are you having a beautiful distraction until then with somebody else keeping this person in the back of your in your, the back of your heart you know holding a place for them but knowing that nothing could be done yeah photograph it's like memories um pictures visions of each other um captured in time captured in a photograph and that's it seems like all there is here um somebody's either somebody's looking in other person's photos being nostalgic missing each other um somebody wants to make new memories but healthy good ones i mean this reading can go a lot of different ways but it feels to me like somebody here is really regretting a loss for sure and in the wake of an absence is when um you know sometimes those emotions come back up and little bits of realizations hit and and then a decision needs to be made made here okay show me another another message here for virgo for february 2023 okay wow virgo endure and be patient hmm well some of you might not be able to make a decision when the time comes and some of you might just decide to just endure it and wait um Okay, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. Luck is on your side, though. Either way, whatever's meant for you will work out. Uh, the wheel is turning in your favor. You have the Midas touch, Virgo. Good things are coming now, so be ready. You deserve this. Karma is on your side for all the good you've put out. It's coming back around, and what a payoff it will be. Yeah, it does look like this person is going to come in and, and make some true offer. An offer that looks like it's time i just they told me to pull some moonology messages here what are the moonology messages here for virgo okay a new romantic cycle is beginning virgo so yeah do you guys like my little hearts <laughs> a new romantic cycle is beginning okay
Yeah, love is coming back around. That's a new moon in Libra energy there. Let me see what your messages of love are here. Messages of love. Wow, you have fate. This is a destined partnership, Virgo. Virgo, oh my goodness. This is a beautiful story for sure. I feel like two people know that it's a destined partnership that's meant to be, but something happened where there was a break or a separation. Wait, hold on. We have a flipper. Self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before making a decision, before acting, Virgo. So yeah, you definitely are going to have a decision and it's going to have to be in your best interest, not in anybody else's best interest, not in the best interest of the person you might currently be dating or you'll be meeting, and not in the best interest of this person reaching out and making an offer. This has to be what is right and just and true and aligns with your heart and what is and your head and what is best for you Virgo nothing more nothing less okay so when the decision time comes make sure that you if you decide to go forward with this new person that this this is what's best for you if you decide to go forward with somebody else who's coming in and making this offer, make sure that's what's best for you, okay? And try not to focus too much on what zodiac sign it is, okay? All right, let me just see. I wanna just get a date in February for when you may be hearing from this person reaching out to you. Okay, so February 7th, or at least the week of February 7th. So it will be next week, Virgo. You should hear from this person, the runner. <laughs> you will hear from the runner. Okay. Yeah, there you're showing up here. Okay. All right. So someone's initials, we have an, the letter S. We also have the letter V. Okay, someone was born in 1976 or 1967. We have the initial J and the initial E. Okay. And the letter K. The letter M as in Mary. I'm also hearing Nicholas or Nikki. All right, let me see. Someone's born July 3rd, or 1973, I'm picking up. Okay, letter H, and also 111, 111, I'm getting, 111, with that letter H, or 1111, okay. We have a letter P, and somebody wears um, Vans sneakers or shoes, running shoes. Vans, I just heard. All right. The letter Z. Z. Okay, let's see. Okay. And the letter A. All right, let me see if we can get some physical features. What does this person look like who's coming in to make this love offer to Virgo? Okay. Oh, there you go, Orist, the man bun. Orist is getting a love offer from a guy in a man bun. <laughs> man bun and a beard. Okay. Uh, I just heard somebody's letter, the initial D. D as in dog. David, Devin, um, Dimitri. Okay, okay. We also have someone that could be bald, right? Doesn't mean it's the same, obviously. Maybe they've lost their hair and now they are bald or they're covering up their baldness with a man bun. Um, let me see. Okay, and we also have someone with a mohawk. So we have three very different 
energies here a man bun someone with no hair at all and someone with a mohawk this could be someone that tries a lot of different hairstyles as well um very trendy i don't know that baldness is a hairstyle but they may have shaved their hair okay um i don't really feel like uh, these could be these could be the feminine as well let me see i don't know much about that man bun but you know take it as it resonates <laughs> Okay, somebody also has freckles, okay? Maybe they get freckles in the summer, in the sun, or they just have them year round. Okay, we also have someone here who's plus size, okay? And someone's got black hair as well. Okay, very neat, that's interesting. Let me get some Now, hold on, you guys. That totally disappeared. I don't even know where it went. I didn't even hear it land. All right, we have Cancer, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Scorpio. We also have someone is 37. Um, someone is 40. Again, 1973. I don't know if I said that. Someone is 44. Um, someone, yep, uh, 1976. 2014 was a significant year. Let's see. Okay, Scorpio again, Aquarius, Capricorn, and we have Libra. So also September birthdays, we have September 5th, 6th, 8th, and the 10th. And then also, okay, they're giving me the numbers 105, 105, 105, or 501. Somebody's 55, somebody is 58. Um, we also have 106 or 610. And somebody is born in 1985. Okay, let's see. What else, Virgo? All right. Capricorn again, Scorpio again, Virgo again, Scorpio again. All right. Um, hmm. So, 609-906, I'm hearing. Okay, August 23rd, August 28th, the 25th, and um, 238 or 2638 or 2... 836 or 6382 you know um steve is really good by putting the numbers in there so steve you just put the number 2638 and then everybody can mash it around however they like i also am picking up may 11th so that seems like it might be and also october 12th so those specific days might resonate for you okay um let me get a charm and then I'm going to finish out your reading, you guys. And you know what? <laughs> Don't forget, you guys, to hit that subscribe button. And also, if you want to get the special Valentine love reading on my on my uh, my booking site, go over and check that out. It is discounted for only 85 bucks for 30 minutes. Okay, you've got Cupid here. So that's definitely Valentine's Day. There's something happening or maybe happening around February 14th. Cupid's arrow strikes as well. You might get like a little cute Valentine. Oh gosh, look, here's love. You might get a little Valentine message. It's maybe something with some hearts or kisses or a card, um, or you'll see something from somebody. Doesn't have to be from, well, it's from someone. Okay, we also have an airplane and a masquerade mask. Okay, so there might be a visit. Someone's traveling by using, by a plane. Um, so there might be a visit or a vacation or someone is traveling or going somewhere by plane in the month of February. And also this mask, I mean, it's a little dominatrixy. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on there. Maybe there's a little role playing for Valentine's Day. Um, but there's definitely something here where, you know, oh, 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 okay, that makes sense now. Um, 
So, okay, I don't know if this is related to a love reading, but I'm definitely feeling like mask mandate on planes. I don't know if they if you ha if you're still required to wear a mask on a plane, but I feel like either there's a mandate that's going to come in where that's going to be implemented again, or um, you might meet someone on a plane who's in a wearing a mask. Okay, not over the eyes, but perhaps a face mask of some sort. Um, or you might be wearing one. I'm just something to do with the airlines and face masks. I don't know. You guys can leave me comments and let me know um, if you heard anything about that or if they're, oh, they're just telling me Sagittarius as well. If you've heard anything about that or know if that's going to start coming up again. Um, yeah. So Virgo, I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope that you enjoyed that or at least it gave you some insight. And again, if you need a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below please hit that like share and subscribe button and don't forget to follow me on social media the address is right up above here and i will see you guys back here tomorrow all right love you take care bye